Uh, this particular vehicle has what's called a LIN controlled alternator. LIN stands for Local Interconnect Network. It's our typical single wire communication networks. And they will allow modules and components, again, to communicate with one another, share data with one another. Uh, they allow uh, a module, for example, to control a, a, a component on a vehicle. So the LIN network is a, is a smaller network that communicates at much lower speeds than a typical CAN network will. It doesn't have to share data as fast, doesn't have to share as much data as necessary on a, on a CAN network. So the LIN networks have become very, very popular on late model vehicles, and they can use them to control some of these, in most cases, convenience-related functions, convenience systems, things like power sunroofs, uh, power trunk releases, uh, power mirrors, heated seat, power seats, uh, power windows, things that don't require a lot of data and don't have to communicate at really, really high rates of speed. Now, the other thing that's happened, though, is that a lot of car manufacturers have gone to controlling the alternator and the charging system over one of these LIN networks, over one of these LIN single-wire communication networks. Uh, they've been very, very popular on a lot of European vehicles. They're very, very common and popular on many of the Asian vehicles. Uh, they are used even on a few Ford applications here and there.